what's up guys welcome back to the channel I'm of course C and Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching thanks for making this video a part of your day now in a previous video in a previous uh, C and Puma universe mode video I mentioned the sliders that I had to change the sliders and that I would be making a video on said sliders well today is that video we're gonna take a look at the sliders created by Slick Such. Um, I found him over on Reddit, um, r slash WWE Games. Um, this is his third version of the sliders for uh, WW2K. He's also got some for NBA 2K, Madden, and MLB The Show. Um, but since, of course, we are wrestling fans, we are going to take a look at the wrestling sliders. Now, this game makes the game a little more fun to play, in my opinion. Um, it also makes the AI versus AI matches, which we are using in our SWF universe mode with uh, calls from the community. Um, it makes them look a little more realistic, a look a little better in my opinion. Um, you can change these as you see fit, uh, but I go strictly by the book as far as um, the game balancing goes. There's a couple of things in the match and gameplay that I change. Um, but we'll go over all of that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to options. And we are going to gameplay first. Now we have, of course have difficulty set to legend. Weight detection set to simulation. You want to leave the reversal limit on or who knows how long those reversals will go for. They'll last forever. Uh, the submission system or submission minigame. You can either do the button mashes or the right stick. Um, it all That's all preference. I prefer the right stick. You may prefer the buttons. Uh, that part doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, injuries, you want to leave on. Um, rope break, the automatic rope break, you want to leave on. There is testing going on with the automatic rope break being off. Um, where possibly a, a very good sequence happens and the, the uh, aggressor goes for the pin and immediately broken up by the rope. We'll see how, how that goes. All the different run-ins you leave on. The blood. The blood you can turn off or on. That is, again, personal preference. Uh, mine is on all the time. I have seen where people turn it off, but then right before a pay-per-view, it gets turned on just to add to the effect of the pay-per-view. Again, your preference. Mine stays on all the time. And the subtitles, if you're doing a universe mode or something like that, for YouTube... Um, I would suggest turning them off. I didn't have them off when I did my first episode of SWF, and it looked it looked a little funny um, after the matches when there was a cutscene. So um, I'm gonna have those turned off now. If you want to have them turned on for my career and things like that, I think my career has its own set of sliders on how that one works. So this affects um, exhibition and universe mode. I don't think it affects my career, and it definitely does not affect online. So uh, that is going to be your gameplay. Let's head over to match. Now, to make it more realistic, we're going to turn off those superstar HUDs. M most of these are preference. Well, pretty much all of these are, are preference. Uh, you're going to turn off the superstar HUD, leave the fatigue on. The control help, um, Slick says to turn it off. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. He's the, I messed it up. He says to turn the reversal prompt off. That it doesn't come up and say, you know, press R2. Uh, control help is where you can see signatures, finishers, OMGs, etc. Reversal prompt gives you the button. It says, hey, it's time to press the button. Um, that is up to you, and it automatically turns off reversal timing assist. Camera cuts on, camera shakes on, a ringside camera cuts. Turn the replay. I personally turn it off. Um, if a finisher's hit or a big move's hit, I feel like the replay um, interrupts the flow of the match and then interrupts the flow of the sequence and it just kind of blah. Uh, Post-match replay. Again, that is personal preference. I turn it off just for the sake of time. Uh, there's a, uh, you know a minute or so after that that's just my preference um, there's a good possibility I'll have it turned back on for um, the universe mode that way you know we can commentate on that uh, the run-in and breakout HUD is 
turned on that is in an entrance or um, or and after the match you can hit the button display referee counts he has it off I prefer it on uh, mainly because I play with the volume turned down just a bit so uh, there's not an echo while I'm recording uh, but you can turn these off and images again he says he recommends to turn them on I turn them off if I can have a clean screen that's what I'm about and the vibration I've n I just don't like the vibration so I personally turn off the vibration so there is uh, the settings for match let's move on over to target now the target system seems a lot better this year um, with the click of a button you, you don't have to press it a thousand times to get it to um, wh wherever you want to lurk so you can have indicators turned off um, that is going to be um, you know CM Puma is focusing on um, D Chris Danger and it'll say Chris Danger on top of his head or you can turn it off where it says nothing you can have it to where it's on all the time personally like I said I believe that takes away from it so players only um, you want to set the manual for all the four players even though uh, most of the time it's one or two players you want to set it to manual where you can change that um, you, you can change it on the fly um, target your tag partner you can turn that on if you want to you know target look over there at your tagging partner and or manager um, you can focus directly on them the target referee is turned on now this is a great feature um, say you hit a big move you hit your finisher and the opponent kicks out at 2.9 you can get up maybe smack the ref around a little bit or get in his face or you know things like that so um, here it is for target let's jump over to game balancing now here is where the meat and bones are now if you're familiar with this you know uh, that there are 20 ticks or 20 marks on this um, and it's the simplest way to get these set up is to bring it all the way down to zero and count it out so AI standing strike reversal rate is set to 20 AI standing grapple reversal rate set to 11 uh, ground strike reversal rate is set to 20 grapple reversal is set to 9 finisher reversal 11 AI foreign object reversal 11 entrance run-ins um, these are s default at 10 mid match and post um, it's up to you on those run-ins you want to have them more often you want to have them less I left them as default as uh, slick recommended referee downtime set to 20 as well as special move strength is 20 foreign object strength is 20 and chain wrestling duration is set to 20 I personally can't stand chain wrestling it I don't know especially in one of the game I want to say maybe it was two 2k 15 you couldn't get away from it you couldn't not do that you had to do the chain wrestling and that just killed me on it um, special move strength instead of default at 10 it is all the way up to 20 now that is for your and your opponent so a finishing move could be more devastating a little more effective referee downtime just means he stays down for a little bit longer so you can run out and grab weapons or you can quote unquote cheat a little bit and then uh, you press R1 this is on the PS4 by the way if um, you haven't noticed you press R1 go over to balancing 2 which is a couple of the um, striking and grapple and all kinds of reversal things uh, strike reversal set to 0 Standing grapple reversal three ground strike reversal zero ground grapple reversal rate three Finisher reversal zero foreign object reversal zero now that because this is set at zero that doesn't mean they'll never reverse your finisher uh, They they will still will reverse your finisher even though this is set at zero same for foreign object um, stamina cost 15 stamina recovery five Stunned recovery is one. Reversal rate, uh, excuse me, reversal recovery rate set to seven, and squash match is set up to twenty. Um, this can be adjusted for your universe mode or your exhibition. 
Uh, like I said, default is... Oh, it's going to do all settings. Default is 10, I believe. Um, you can leave it right in the middle. You can up it a little bit. If you want more squash matches, bring it down if you want less, uh, obviously. All of these, you want more of it, you want less of it. You know, that is a judgment call. That is a judgment call. So that is for balancing one and two. So that is going to wrap this up. I will leave a link down in the description to uh, Slick's Such's slider page. You will be able to see 2K. Um, I believe he's got 2000, 2K17 on here. Um, the different versions. You can see how the versions change from 1, 2, and 3. And uh, like I said, he's got NBA 2K sliders on there. A lot of these have just been up, uh, updated. The latest version was updated on November 29th. As of this recording, it is December 7th. So about nine days. Um, it's 2K sliders updated October 15th. Madden as well October 15th and MLB the show 18 he doesn't have them quite there yet but he does have them for 17 um, and those were just updated on October 15th as well so like I said I will leave the link down in the description so you can uh, check out the sliders there for yourself and if you enjoyed this video if you found this informative let me know leave a like on this video subscribe if you're not Come on back, guys. We got WWE 13 Chet Curtis. We got WWE 2K18 CM Puma Universe Mode. And we've also got WWE 2K18 Southern Wrestling Federation SWF Rebellion Universe Mode using the community calls from Twitter and YouTube. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you soon.